All right, who's doing the ad read? I don't know what I'm reading. I'm out. So I guess I'll do it again? Yeah. No, I've got to do it. Write it down. This episode is brought to you by shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den, where you can get all your gentleman's den merchandise. Once again, that is shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's den. I couldn't do that. Enjoy the show. Dubitably. Oh yeah, that's right. It's groovy time for movie time. Back with Jeff and Frankie here at the Gentleman's Den. Fellas, how we doing? Doing great. Did a great review. Feeling uh, spry. Why are you talking like that? We're about to do this review with our sweaty balls. Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> new to the whole podcast yeah. radio voice. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we got a special treat for you. <laughs> we are viewing the movie Out Cold, one of the 2001 special features. I love that movie. Great movie, guys. What do you think? Phenomenal, fi- phenomenal picture there, Bob. Filled with all your 2000s nostalgia, <laughs> snowboarding, slow motion scenes, extreme sports. Jim- Jimmy <laughs> Eats World, some 41. Jack Johnson, and a little bit of Weezer mixed in. Ooh. Plenty oh, of... Bottom lip mustaches and <laughs> <laughs> flavor savers. Oh yeah, you gotta have the bottom got lip it. mustache. And then I think every dyed blonde hair. Frosted tips. I just love how they slap hands so much in that movie. Oh, oh, those, we rule. Those, those, <laughs> <laughs> those douchebag guys who come and try running try to the show. Fuck shit up. So we were so, gonna, so we were gonna do the Irishman. Yeah. It's a long <laughs> fucking movie. But that's uh, three hours and 25 minutes? Is that what you said? I ain't got that time. Three right. hours and 30 minutes. So that that will be for another time when we actually have time to watch a movie. Yeah, and I feel halfway decent. Yeah. So The Irishman, probably in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> we'll get it in. Uh, so we did Out Cold, like Jeff said, the uh, 2001 classic. The greatest snowboarding movie ever made. I will agree to that. Has to be. Ooh, come on, Aspen Extreme wasn't that a snowboard movie? Oh no, no, skis. No, that was they were on skis. That's right. (laughs) K two. K two skis. Skis. That's what I'm saying. There was a shift in time when I was in grade school. Well, it went from skis to snowboard. Mid nineties, yeah, because I started out skiing, and then you know, skiing wasn't cool anymore. (laughs) I don't think I can ski. To be honest, I heard it's super easy, but. It is pretty easy. I, look I mean, at I it. picked it up like right away. Pizza. All yeah, you gotta do is make a pizza. I picked up Pizzas. snowboarding in one night. Pizza. And, yeah. French fries. The yeah. tow rope you had trouble I with. I can't do the tow rope. I still can't <laughs> do the tow rope. I like, grab it too fucking tight. I end up fucking getting yanked. Oh, let me grab my turbo shot. You know what was really Frankie's good, not though? doing one because he is feeling under the weather, so. Yes. Very. Oh, uh, to another Cheers, TV Leo. Spoils. An elixir. Stay hydrated. This weather has been trash. You know what? That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm not a fan no, of it. was just honey. as bad as I thought it'd be. <laughs> 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 the problem is I'm sitting here with a mouthful of honey now. What was yeah. that? Uh, wild turkey? American honey. American honey. I don't like this. It's, it's, it's cinnamony. Yeah. Cinnamony taste. Yeah, it's weird that it's cinnamony. Not a fan. <clears throat> I think that's just because of the whiskey flavoring maybe i'm really hot right now <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> the shot just warmed me up like if i was trapped in my car that'd be what you're drinking right there <laughs> funny uh. story a guy got out of a dui like that he crashed his car in the winter time and uh when they got to his car you know they gave him a breathalyzer and he no didn't pass way. and he said that he was trapped in his car it was cold out so he drank his bottle of whiskey to warm himself up. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah, he got out of his DUI. No way. Google it, guys. Google it. Man's a genius. Fucking genius. I'm just gonna keep drinking and show up. <laughs> My favorite one to this day was, have you ever seen the old man where they go to hand him the yes. breathalyzer and he tips it up like he's gonna drink <laughs> out of it? Yes, that's a true champ. Or the, the, really cop just starts, the cop just starts laughing at him. <laughs> We've all been there, so they might have a little bit of that in Out Cold, oh, which is just the movie a little we bit. are reviewing, which I think we got a little bit away from. 
That's fine. But we do we're that. We're going to bounce around. <laughs> yeah. That's so, they, what that's we do. Space that's cadets. <laughs> that is what we do. That was the indicator to say, let's get fucking rolling here. So, so this is my first... I, lo- I love this movie. King Great mountain, snowboarding mountain, movie. Mountain, King of the King Mountain, of the Mountain, Mountain, Mountain. King mountain. of the Mountain. King of the Mountain. This was my first introduction to Zach Galifianakis. Yes. Yes. Besides his... You know what's funny? Before is. his... Uh, Hangover fame. Yes. That was pretty much the movie that put him on the map. Yeah. But this movie might be his best work. I would say. <laughs> and he, was, he, was, he was also in, uh, he played, uh, what was that, Just Married? Or was it, or, no, when uh, they got married in Vegas. Cameron Diaz and... Uh, Ashton Kutcher, bro. Ashton Kutcher. Different, different guy. No, I'm just, no, that's Zach Galifianakis plays one of the friends. Oh, yeah. It was a rom-com. Frankie hasn't yeah. seen it. <laughs> Yeah, he plays one of the rom com. He plays one of the friends in there. <laughs> About ooh, ooh rom com. So this movie starts out, you know, typical two thousand snowboarders. Bunch of friends hanging out. You can just tell the bonding. Oh, they're 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 just. They all work at this mountain. And they're all getting beers at the at the bar. You know. It sounds like they're living the dream, to be honest. After you know? the guy bombs the mountain, so you have your first scene. You know the the. 2000s Jimmy Eats World music starts playing <laughs> as he bombs the mountain and it's funny when they got it's one of these movies where it zooms in on the guy and you can clearly tell it's yeah, a stump it's, man. Yeah. <laughs> and they just didn't give a fuck no. they're like yeah he looks close enough it's well, yeah. <laughs> also this yeah. movie's got Victoria Silverstead playing Maid of, Play of the Year is that who that is? yeah, yeah. I have no idea she looks exactly the same I looked, we looked her up today Kayla and I were both curious what she looked like now Take. She hasn't changed. It's scary. Well, good for her. Her oh, waist got that. smaller somehow. <laughs> well, good jeans. Good right. jeans in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> Those mm. tight Sweden jeans. So it starts with them in the in the mountain, and they start with the King of the Mountain race, where you have to have a beer full in a glass. You have to finish the race with beer. And obviously the main character is a three-time champion. Three-time champion. Three-time champ. King of the Mountain. So they're all lining King up, explaining the rules. They got full beers. Pig pen. <laughs> Zach Galifianakis' brother. Zach Galifianakis' brother starts drinking it. And they're like, pig pen, full beer. <laughs> <laughs> His, His character is fucking oh, great. Oh, so fucking good. Spot on. Zach Galifianakis actually crushed this movie. It's it's yes. his brother was hilarious. Well, his brother in the movie, yeah, Pigpen. Pigpen is a great character. All the characters are really good. Yeah, it's it's a typical nineties nineties cheese dick movie. Right. You got the token black guy who always yes. falls. He's got the funniest little one liners and yeah. shit. <laughs> what it reminds me of is, did you watch Ski School ever? Yes, I've I seen. How that. bad? Yeah. They got the like it's, rat motel. Yeah. It, dude, it is horrible. It's like they took ski like parts of Ski School and put it into this movie and turn this movie well, into a better version of Ski it, School. Exactly. And they had a good storyline with it, so they all race down the mountain. and Which, it's a rom-com. It is. I don't know why Frankie likes it. It's a rom-com. I, I love it. It's one of my favorite <laughs> movies. It really is. It's just, I think it's more of the, the brotherhood in it and just like the group of friends. And I remember going up north and going snowboarding and... Those were some of like the yeah. best times getting away. You don't you don't have a phone. Well, this movie is great mountain. too, like you said. Especially, it's a snowboarding movie. It's just friends. Right. They're all friends. They all work at the mountain. They it, all party together. It basically would be if we, all, if we all work together. It's basically what it would be. Right. Exactly. Yeah. If if we all worked on a mountain together just, and stayed on just some fucking lodge with the owners, if this it was would if be this so f- much fun. Let's be honest. If this was ten years ago, this would probably be us. And see, I <laughs> wish we would have did more stuff like that. We were always like, oh, now we got you know good job. I'm not going to work at no hill or do nothing like I think it would have been fun even to go out to the Dells and worked out there a summer or something you know what I mean I worked at the ski hill to get a free pass because right. if you worked there you got a free and free I remember pass. every weekend I know people that still do that <laughs> we couldn't wait to get out of school or it's work it's a good or whatever fucking deal and go snowboarding all night you know what I mean it was yeah. a blast we went all the time and then going up north is the most fun staying in the cabin around the, the Uper and the Uper they got beautiful yeah, trails and I'd love to go to Colorado one day, but snowboard movie. This just don't for get sure the waffles. Is <laughs> <laughs> that was the French toast? No, no that was Florida. Jeff, 
I ordered a wa- I wanted a regular nice crisp waffle and she But he orders it like this. I want the biggest fucking waffle you got. <laughs> So she gives you a Belgian waffle, and Jeff doesn't like Belgian and waffles. This thing was shaped it, like a daisy. I'm I'm like, what I is want this? that Belgian flower shit. She's like, no, it's a waffle. Like, okay. Would she come out Belgian, Belgian flower? Belgian flower. Like, where's this my is, honeycomb? This is on your side. What this? this I'm done. Put it this way: it, if if we can open a restaurant, a breakfast restaurant, it would be. Waffles, it would. It would no, it would. It would serve two things. Ham and cheese omelets yes. and egg and waffles. <laughs> That's it. It's Three things. Need. What's the third? Beer cane. <laughs> <laughs> Is that was that beer can? Bacon. Yeah. Bacon. Bacon. Bacon, bacon yeah. or beer, beer can. can? If it's coming up for bacon, <laughs> one or two. <laughs> Give me a side of bacon. What kind of beer do you want? <laughs> Beer in a can or a bottle? All right, King of the Mountain, how'd it go? All right, so they're racing down. I feel like we're far into this with the first 30 <laughs> seconds of the movie. So uh, they're racing down, and they're pushing. There's no rules. And no they're, rules. They're knocking each other over. It's rule number two is there's no rules. <laughs> it's a what race. about rule number one? That's more of a guideline <laughs> than a rule. <laughs> <laughs> that line is so fucking funny. Oh, it's okay. a race to... Touch Papa Muntz's ass. Yes, the and former he, owner of the mountain. Oh, yes, not the mountain. It, who don't to go change it. ski and drink, and most of the time at the, at the same, same time. time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so they're all racing down, pushing, fighting. Uh, you know, chicks are flashing people to make them fall, and I mean, it's <laughs> just hilarious. And Which, you know, if you're flashing me broad titties, it's. It's not and they were pretty f- nice bra titties. That's got to be one nice, of the coolest they were nice, chicks. Well, they were nice bra titties, but I it's like, I ain't going like to eat that. shit because I saw your <laughs> bra titties. You whip out a I nipple. I mean, you would if you were pig pan. You whip out a nipple, I'm hitting no, the fucking pan. turf. You couldn't help him. Too. I don't know. I think you would do that just on your own. You would... <laughs> I, th- I, I you probably you probably would honestly like, I'd probably eat shit a lot. But you, would, you would be like the guy that rides around on the little scooter instead. But like, like I said to Jeff, back on that horse. Like, like I said to Jeff when we were watching the movie, I'm like, at times I hate being as tall as I am because it fucks me in the long run. Bend those knees. It's and it's not even that. It's just we're gonna get you on the mountain. If I was it. if I was five foot ten, I would be trying all that shit because it's all a right. far, it's a shorter we're, fall to the we're ground. Older, so we don't want to be hurting ourselves. So it's more. I can't walk the, right now. Car. <laughs> that's the, you're gonna slide down the hill. We're gonna get you on the mountain. This he year. brings a bag of old man goodies over here. This is a, I, try out this back roller. <laughs> I brought a chirp back roller. And it was rolling on that. So thing. now you got that. We can go on the hill. You gonna try snowboarding this year? No. I think this movie no. put him over the top. He's ready. Right. He's ready to go out cold. Just think about it. <laughs> yeah, I'll go out there. cold all right. I'll just fucking bounce my head off the ground. A <laughs> couple times that. out here at the smaller mountains, you get the hang of it, then we'll go up north, and it'll be a blast. Up north? We're going to we're gonna train, uh, teach Dylan how to, how to snowboard, too, so we, both you guys could learn together, and I know Jeff's, I don't know, lady, his lady... She wants to learn too. She wants to learn. That's the problem is snowboarding is so expensive. It's hard to pay all that money, and then what? I'm gonna fucking sit on my knees at the the Turtle Hill. Well, as of right now, we have four boards, so we're okay to go. The four of us. Sean would have to rent, but it's not that expensive. Yeah, I'd have to rent because I need a six foot fucking tall board. You want something that's see like chin level or eye level? And I would need a goddamn ironing board with fucking bindings in it you'll no be you'll be fine yeah dude it, it's gonna be a lot of fun in just a couple nights out there you'll get the hang of it in a few hours i'm telling you snowboarding's pretty fun and it's we'll kind of easy the worst thing is like i said i still can't do the tow rope where you just like walk up to Don't it you just gotta lean back a little bit so you just let the rope pull you? you can't just grab you the rope just, though yeah you, have you to gotta like let it go gently your hands squeeze slowly. Oh yeah, you can't just get drug on it. You gotta, it. you gotta do I a can't do you gotta it. do a slow pull. But my boy always gets stuck and I fall and I get the whole line to stop and everyone's like Then there's like oh, six year old kids up. behind Frankie. Hurry up, fucker. <laughs> yeah, dude, like seven, dude. <laughs> so I can't really do that, but in all honesty, I'd just say just drag me up the hill, bitch. The coolest thing actually <laughs> though, it was a lot of fun but really hurt in a way kinda because it was hard to do, is in the UP they got a T rope. And skiers put it between their knees, and it drags them up the mountain. Yeah, you basically sit on it. Uh, yeah, 
Well, snowboarders, you put it between your your knee and let it drag you up or behind your hip, and you snowboard. Well, yeah, up you hook your front leg and it'll pull you up. Oh my God, is that hard in a workout and fun? Because you're riding up the mountain instead of just sitting on the chair. It's a cool experience. Dude, I eat enough shit. No, you, you, it, there it's nothing but powder. They made me jump off a mountain. It was Fresh like 15 powder. feet. Were you there on that trip? Yeah. We went off the cliff, and then yeah. I almost fell the second time, and I got caught on the well, edge. It was closed over there. All we right, so back to how cold. <laughs> yeah, we weren't supposed to be over there. Well, that segues perfect. We weren't supposed to be over there. We're going down the mountain. So back as, to the movie as, as they are going down the mountain. <laughs> Doing tricks, <laughs> slow motion backflips, and you know you see he's losing and his beer. What, what are you doing? Come it's on, man! Early, and it's early two thousand tricks, so it's like back then it was like, oh, that wow. dude just did a gainer. Or that right. dude. Well, they're supposed now to keep their beer in their cup. They're doing backflips, and you can see the beer flying just out. Frozen <laughs> lumps and then of like, beer. Man, it's a full cup again. Yeah. we're good. Well, well, so they get to the end, and they're all checking their mugs, and they're like, oh, oh who's got the most? Who's got the most? And Rick doesn't have any in his mug. He's got like, oh, bit. you got nothing. Got until, we won, we won. Until he puts the beer that's in his mouth. Oh, he's sneaky. He's sneaky. He has a half a glass in there. He's got those chubby cheeks. Yeah, that out. dude was holding a whole lot of beer. Right? So he wins King of the Mountain. Fourth year? Fourth year in a Fourth row. Fourth year in a row. Which was funny, funny, too, about that. Watching that again. <clears throat> Is when in the blooper reel when he eats shit, mm-hmm. he still has a mouthful of beer in the blooper reel. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's method acting, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> Getting the mo- no wonder why he went to rehab after that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Going down the mount with alcohol in your mouth, just let it soak in. Mm-hmm. Fucking wasted by like the fourth take. So then he walks the lady home. Walks Ooh. his because uh, it's a love story. Right. Every movie's got a good love story, and she is like the perfect woman. Love snowboarding, drinks beer. Right, parties, totally cool and open. And I'm in. They, right. they they definitely cut the scene out where she was pulling bong rips with pig pen. Yes. Yeah. Because they're just holding the bong, and then the guy drinks the bong water, which happens later in the movie. <laughs> yeah, which was kind of, I didn't see how that wasn't in there, but, you know. And my lady's like, why would they drink the bong water? It's like, it's happened. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Someone, God. It's fucking happened. Someone <laughs> drinks that bong water. It's either that I or... I forget what that's called, but... It, it, I don't give a fuck what it's called. It's called disgusting. That's what it's called. I remember doing those, uh, I think they're called knockouts, where yeah. you would take... Yeah, you take a shot, or you chug a beer, or no, take, a take a hit. You take a hit. You take, take a hit, take a bong shot, rip. chug a beer... The Other way, and then, I'm pretty sure it's you take a bong rip, you chug a beer, then you take a shot, then you take and a then shot, you blow the smoke out. Well, it could go either cannonball. way. Well, you could do it either way you want. Yeah. Well, the cannonball just you pull the uh, shot out of it. It's just the chug oh, the chug the fucking beer. done a million of those cannonball, 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 cannonball. So as he's walking her home and he gets to to, to her door, they have this moment. It's nice. Well, moment. he's still hung up. On he's hung up on a girl that he met. In Met Mexico. In the most beautiful place in the world. Where? Cancun, Cancun Mexico. Mexico. At Pedro O'Horny's. <laughs> Pedro O'Horny's, baby. Which I'm um, my guess. Out every day for three weeks. My guess is Senior Frogs wouldn't sign off on, no. <laughs> on the movie. No. So they had to change the name. Well, I mean, think about it. If it was up to you, there's two bars Senior Frogs and Pedro's Horny. Pedro I'm O'Horny's? I'm going to, I'm going to O'Horny's yes. for sure. It's an Irish-Mexican bar. How would you not go to it? <laughs> yeah, you just... You know, <laughs> All the shenanigans going on in there. How would you not you go to that bar? You're going to a place with Horny in the title. 100%. Yeah. It's Pedro O'Horny, so you can get, like, fucking corned beef tacos. Oh, damn <laughs> shit. We need a vacation. That's what I want to do. Yeah. I'm glad they cost money. Get it go to the snow nook. <laughs> And that is red potato burrito. <laughs> <laughs> so, to the movie, motherfuckers. Bro, I feel this like is the first. Mad. This is the first prank they pull on old Zach Galifianakis. He, so, Zach Galifianakis is a uh, hard problem drinker. Problem drinker that nah, passes out a lot. Hard, he reminds me a lot of Jeff in his younger youth. There's some times where he's passed the hey, fuck out. I can of, literally. Speaking of problem drinker, can you uh, grab me a beer out of there? Wow. Yeah, PBR. Please. Can I have an elixir too? I don't know what that means. You know what I want. Beer. I want to talk to Samson. Fly me to, to the, the moon. moon. Doctor <laughs> says I need a bacchiotomy. All right, talk about the polar bear. So, <laughs> so Zach Galifianakis passes out again, they and drag him to the woods. They first off, his brother Pigpen says, "Give me a salt block." 
I forgot what a else. bucket, a, bu- I, a paintbrush, and a ten pounds of salt. A bucket, a paintbrush, and ten pounds of salt. That's what it was. You want a beer? No. Have a beer. I don't want it. Just have one. No, I don't feel good. I won't give in to peer pressure. Oh yeah. Well, this is the movie review. Be We're it. already fucked up, so I yeah, can't wait to get to it. the other one. Oh shit. Yeah, buddy. So <laughs> this polar bear comes so, out the fucking woods. And first off. A polar bear would just eat his insides and <laughs> say, it. fuck the salt. I don't want that. What the hell is that? <laughs> this is a Catalina lime mixer. I'm not the in fucking I'm Catalina not in lime Catalina. mixer. Natty Light. Natty Light. <laughs> Catalina lime mixer. They're not bad. Don't be a pussy. They're not bad. They need a little more cherry flavor to them. Yeah. He Can won't. you imagine waking up? He wants from look, a slumber. Is that what you want? Look, That's what I want. look, I'm holding a regular Coke can. You know, Andre the Giant, Andre the Giant style. So anyway, Zach Galifianakis wakes, wakes up to gain his balls licked by a polar bear, and he says, <laughs> "Good boy." I mean, girl. Shoo, the, shoo, 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 shoo. And, the, and there's your first gay joke of the movie. <laughs> More to come. More to More come. More to come. Plenty in that movie. Put it this way, this would be a one of, another one of those movies that people would be like, I'm offended. But it's it's just that's how it was in real life, in real times, in the 90s and 2000s. Yes, we <laughs> all got our balls licked by polar bears after our buddies no, salted them. I'm just saying like, in, in <laughs> like the whole guts. movie and like how they do, just all it's just all the dick and fart jokes that are... Oh, it's just full of... What we grew right. up on and love. Yeah. Right. Well, what's funny is the the bartender's always talking about crushing pussy, and he's so gay. Right. He's got the Freddie Mercury mustache. It's, been a, it's a giveaway as soon as you see it. It ain't Burt Reynolds, baby. It's Freddie Mercury. Yeah, and he's... Oh, but God, he, I love chicks. Yes. You know what that guy reminds me of? I'm not going to lie to you. Bennett. He looks yeah. like if... Yeah, he put... The bad guy if he put the, Mando. If he put the mesh fucking shirt on, it's like... That'd be a good Halloween costume for him. Bennett, yeah, for sure. Blow off some steam, Bennett. I love the pranks they pull on Zach Galifianakis. Yes. So, so yeah, they go into the the, the lodge. El Matador. El Matador. That's the bar in town, not the That's lodge. That's Spanish for the Matador. The Matador. <laughs> They're talking about know how there. the guy. So the guy who owned the mountain, who did it, you pa- know, Papa Months. Papa Months went down bare ass, drinking, <laughs> skiing. Ass, his his son down. runs the mountain now, and his son is selling the mountain. No. To, right? to none other than the fall guy, Lee Majors. Lee Majors. <laughs> A.K.A. his name is John Majors in the movie, so it was a really rough stretch <laughs> for them to figure out a f- name for him. It's a per- He's like the perfect, I love his, right. his accent, his douchebagness. He does. He l- plays it so well. So well. He's the poor man's David Hasselhoff. Pretty much. <laughs> he looks like an old so David that. Hasselhoff. <laughs> He's just got that leather skin. Yeah, it's like yes. Fake, leather dish. fake tan. His teeth are just whiter than you the fucking tell, snow. Because yeah, he, like he drops them in a bowl of bleach yeah. every night. <laughs> comes in pulling a fucking douchebag machine. He comes in in one of those H1 Hummers. The yellow and bright, bright yellow. Bright yellow yes. H1 Hummer. Any more look at me. And he's just a total dick. So the owner of the mountain, he just calls him retard. Yeah. All right, retard. Come over here. <laughs> Retarded. Numb nuts. <laughs> yes, numb nuts. Numb nuts, who is the uh, head of the... Who owns the mountain? No, no. Numb nuts is the head of security or head of the... Uh, <laughs> that's Thomas Lennon. That's uh, the guy from Reno 911. Yeah, shit. he had a funny part in that, too. He, he plays the, the new, manager. The new manager he, coming well, in. He played things. the old manager because Rick wasn't a manager. He was just a low-level Right, employee. right. Okay. So, so Lee Majors asked for him to show him the mountain, and the guy from Reno 911 is like, I can show you. He's, He's like, like, no offense, small fry, but you give me the creeps. Go, <laughs> 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 Rick. Lee, Lee Majors puts on some of the best just old school one-liners yes, in this So yes. good. So good. And, by, and I mean like 1970s one-liners. Yeah, just, they're perfect. I'm waiting for the boom in the background. Yeah. But they are fucking hilarious. So oh, he's so good. They go to the El Matador after he's king of the mountain. <clears throat> after he talks to majors. And no, no other than... Well, first... A song is playing. First, Victoria Silverstead shows up. Playmate of the year. Playmate of the year. Playmate of the year. And uh, she asked the bartender, 
What does it mean when you... What she, is American for this? And she lifts her shirt up and she's rubbing her stomach. Horny maker. <laughs> <laughs> and then... One fuzzy navel for the lady. <laughs> then, the, then the gay dude fucking knows Just exactly what she... Just snaps the right away. <laughs> yeah, he's like holding the top of the bar. Like yeah, try to fly yes. it. <laughs> you know, so the Victoria Silp said is Lee... Or John Major's uh, yes. stepdaughter. S- Nye from Sweden. Nine. I am stepdaughter from Sweden. <laughs> Smoke it hot. I didn't know that was her name. His and other daughter. She's held up well. I'll just say that Victoria still that still looks pretty. His bad other daughter is on the way. So and do you know who his other daughter just happens to be? <gasps> dun, his, dun, dun, dun. Love, his love interest from, from the Mexico. most beautiful place in the world, oh, Cancun, Hornies. Mexico. Pedro Hornies. Oh, Hornies. Horny. <laughs> Horny maker. And their song is Island in the Sun. Spider- One of my Weezer. favorite songs. I'm not going to lie. I listen Great to it every song. time I go snowboarding. Great song. That and because, of that, because, because of, that of that movie, because of that movie, movie. Too, probably. But I love that, and I also listen to the one with the penguin surfs up. That one. Oh yeah, that's, another <laughs> that's good Green one. Day. Green Day. I, I don't know names. Um, but yeah, a lot of Incubus too. Got to have a good. Got to have a. Good you got to have a for solid snowboard. playlist for yeah, snowboarding for sure. On my iPod. Right. <laughs> God, that's been the last time iPods. since you went. <laughs> last time I went yeah. snowboarding, I had my iPod. We had iPods, and you know that I, and that iPod is like a brick compared to everything yeah, now. I really still was. have it. You slide it in, you know. Under I still your have jacket. mine too. Now everything's wireless. Talk about nostalgia. Going Man. through that. <laughs> fucking right. wheel. The little wheel. Oh, Going God. through my thrashing, thrashing two playlist. <laughs> so the play island in the sun in the bar, and Rick who is played by Jeremy London, says, I told you never to play that song. (gasps) And then he sees her. He sees her. They lock eyes from across the room. Think of that feeling. Down the drinks while the music booms. His his stomach just just probably dropped. (laughs) That might have been a butthole pucker. But the one chick who he walked home, he promised her a date at 8 o'clock. They were supposed to go to dinner. And then he locked eyes with his French love interest. And guess what he did? Stood up, Blondie. He had a whole bottle. Poor Jenny. And left. He just grabbed the bottle and he was out. Out. Drinking all night alone. <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to drink alone. If you can't be happy with yourself. You can't make someone else happy. Right? Fuck chicks. I just want to dance. So he stands. <laughs> that was a great line. <laughs> and Jenny stood up waiting for him. And she's drinking beers and shooting sugar cubes in the coffee cups and <laughs> so in the morning he runs there to be, he's like oh fuck and he runs there and she's getting shit and petting all her stuff in this car and all the, all these bags of clothes and he's like well oh, please don't leave you don't have to leave she's like don't flatter yourself I'm doing my laundry <laughs> <laughs> laundry day bitch she's like, whatever dude day. figure it out let me know why well, I, I got some shit going on so he's got some shit to figure out now yes he does Rick Ramis is in Quite a dilemma. His, this might be his best movie, other than Mall Rats and Days and Confused. Days and Confused. That's his brother in Days and Confused. Is it? Yeah, they look that's exactly Jeremy like. London. Wow! Stop There's it! Jeremy and Jason London. Wow, are they twins? Yes. Are, they just, are they? Yeah. Wow, I didn't know. Yeah, that. I, I thought that was yeah, the same. Yeah, the guy from Mall Rats and uh, Days, and Confused. Days and Confused. No, are brothers. Out Cold and Mall Rats is the same guy. Okay. Wow. wow. If if you look, one one's head is bigger than the other ones. That's how I could tell the <laughs> difference. It's it's weird. It just looks like he's a bobblehead version of his brother. Yeah. It, it's so you just spit out random facts right now. I am. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. I uh, fun fact. The one brother I know went to was a turned into a drug addict for a I'm little. I'm pretty bit. sure it was the out cold one, but I can't be certain. You can Google it. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so, so is this when we get the the okay? So they're all dancing, whatever. And Victoria Silves, that playmate of the year, Ooh. she leaves with the uh, we'll just say token black guy, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> the guy who's name Flex Lewis or Flex something like that. I know his first <laughs> name was Flex. No, so she's gonna yeah. leave. She's gonna leave with old Flex, but Zach. Not not Mackens. in the movie. Is 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 Flex Alexander's <laughs> is. Like, real name. In the movie, his name is Ke- <laughs> Kevin or something. I can't remember. So Zach Galifianakis' character snowboards off the top of the bar, like the roof of the outside of the bar. And 20 feet up. 
Victoria, I love you. <laughs> and then he eats shit, and she is just putty in his hands. Yep. Oh, he oh played it God. so well. So he, they go to the hot tub. Even, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Too hot in the hot tub. <laughs> hot tub! So she that gets hot and heavy in the hot tub, she ends up getting up and going to bed. He's like, what? Uh, what? No, 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 no. Stuff inside. We'll cuddle. We'll cuddle. We'll cuddle. We'll cuddle. We'll cuddle. Is that girl from Apples? How you say you ready to Schnuffenstein? <laughs> yeah, Schnuffenstein. Like, yeah, yeah, let's time go. Or <laughs> no, sleepy time. So he's left alone in the hot tub. Oh, and he sees the sign, don't inject any foreign objects into the vents. Oh. But what is a man to do? What a rebel. You're left alone. Oh, it wasn't Jeremy. It was Jason. Jason was the actor, and he played. Jason London was from Days to Confuse and Out Cold. Jeremy was in Mallrats. All right. Dang. There we go. Facts. Knowledge. But Facts from the interweb that might be wrong, but no, no, they're right. All right. If it's on the internet, it has to. It be has true. to be true. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I forgot that. Small, <laughs> small little. Small simple, little detail. Yeah. Wow, I might be a little drunk because I spelled that way wrong. You should see some of the shit I spell. <laughs> I'm just trying what to get. What are you googling? I'm trying to get his brother next to him, so I can you can see. We probably don't take pictures together. They hate each other. There. It's for the viewers as wow. well. Wow, <laughs> it is pretty crazy. Yeah, that is. Uh, that is 90s nostalgia. Right, right that's there. your hairstyle right there. Yeah, that's my hairstyle right now. Yeah, that's <laughs> beautiful. But that's, yeah. Should I? That's why I get them confused. I thought you were going to leave it. <laughs> uh, I will, I mean, I that's, could. That's leave hilarious. It leave let's, it up. Let's, let's check the comparison. 90s nostalgia? 90s nostalgia. Oh, yeah. That's spot on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, no, Beautiful. you can't see it that way. What's with all ah, the sidetracking? All right. So, <clears throat> we're about the best scene of the movie. You guys keep gagging here. Hot tub, damn it. So, uh, what is his name in the movie? Rick? No, Zach Galifianakis' is name in the movie. I don't fucking know. Uh, Aren't you on the internet right now? I, I lost it. <laughs> I lost his name. <laughs> it's gone. The internet's gone. I lost his name. So, Zach Galifianakis' character... All I know is the hot tub Casanova. <laughs> Jacuzzi Casanova. Jacuzzi Casanova. That's him right there. <laughs> Up in there loving his strong. So, he has a mishap where he's got his little, you know, he's got a little pecker in there. In the vents, and he's right. hitting the power to go up, 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 up. Luke. Luke was his name. He accidentally yes. hit uh, auto drain. Auto drain. <laughs> oh. And basically, it, it sucked all the water out of that hot tub, including. <laughs> in, my, in, my, in all honesty, it would have grabbed and just <laughs> ballooned your dick up because it was pulling all the blood through. Oh, my God. Can you imagine oh. being out there in the cold for like eight hours? Well, Can yeah. you imagine your dick almost exploding? So <laughs> So Jenny comes walking by in the morning. You need help, don't you? <laughs> you need help. <laughs> He's you. fucking shivering. He's been out there all night. All the water's drained out. He's got his dick stuck and in the jet. He's soaking wet. You know what I mean? Like, oh, dude, that'd been the worst. So that's the second time he's out in the cold, passed out. Oh, well, yeah, passed out. out cold. And he gets some help. So then he goes and puts some uh, snow on his. Well, the guy shows Scru- up. A scruffy? Was that his name? Oh, God. What's his Stumpy. Name? Stumpy. Stumpy shows up. He shows up, with a, he oh shows up with a bucket. A bucket with a Rub- bottle Rub- of rubber Rub- alcohol. and Rub- rubbing Rub- alcohol. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, uh, shears. Yeah. Like big, long bushel bush, shears. Bush shears. What are you thinking at that moment? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Well, the first thing he does is take the shears out. He's clipping it in front of his face. <laughs> <laughs> and then he cuts a lime in half with shears. <laughs> They grabs the rubbing alcohol, takes, takes, a, shot, takes a deep it. breath, shugs it, squirts lime in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, <laughs> fucking <laughs> takes a big handful of frozen ice and Here just we go. shredded ice and wraps it around. His character in this Luke's movie was fucking the great. The greatest. Stumpy is... Stumpy's character is fucking phenomenal. I'm wondering if they just, let, they just said, hey, go ahead. Yes, no, you want. I think you they go, did. Go ahead, Keck. They had just, to like, just roll it with His it. stuff is so off the just wall. I, I love his It name. was the 80s. 
<laughs> Carter was in the Carter was in the White Carter House. Was, no, Carter was the president. Nixon was in the White House, and FDR was playing <laughs> this country <laughs> into the ground. <laughs> Well, Champ yeah, Kine, right? Well, yeah, if you yeah. don't know, it's Champ Kine. Uh, uh, Lambo from, Fields. Uh, he was also Lambo Fields from the comebacks. Lambo Fields and the comebacks. The comebacks has got to be one. He of He was my an anchor man. Champ Kines. Oh my god! Fucking I'm sorry. Great. Better than anchor man. Whammy. Comebacks was better than Scruffy. He's rolling. Wow. Somebody's man. name was Calm Scruffy. Down. Scruffy <laughs> was your dog when you were five. His <laughs> character in Out Cold, though. Perf- oh Perfect. God, it's so there good. were so many great characters in this movie. You had Pigpen. Yes, so he gets his penis out of the hot tub Finally. and he's cooling it off. And now they're trying to figure out what he's gonna do. About he's in this a love girl. triangle, right? Because he's in love with this girl from from Cancun, Mexico. But he's got this other awesome chick that's local that just wants his sauce. Right, so bad. Who's getting the sauce? Yeah, right. and. She's, DT, she's yeah, and mean. she's doing bong rips and eating, you know, drinking MGDs, drinking MGDs, right. forty ounces, ripping her tits out on the fucking right. trails. Why like, not? Why, why can't I meet a girl like that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I would take Blondie over Frenchie any day. Any day. Oh, 100 percent. Any day. Oh, he. I think he just loved that French accent. It was the accent. I think it, it was three day. weeks of. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you're young and you're really? in love and you have those moments, you think that that was the greatest that thing. That was it. She's but the then one when bro. you get older, you realize like you're different and, you know. I don't think she. Uh, <laughs> I don't think she was actually French in real life. I think she was French Canadian. That's probably also why Pro- I didn't like her yeah, all that much. Yeah, yeah. Oh. She was from Montreal. Wait. Want to play the hockey? <laughs> Slap shot to the chest. But that movie was also filmed in Canada. It's based in it's based in Alaska. Yeah. But it was definitely filmed in Canada because they had like I point out to Jeff, Red Dragon, what which is a Canadian skateboard company. Hey. All over the place. Yeah, it was all Red Dragon shit throughout the whole movie and then and uh, Sluggo Boyce was in it, who is one of the owners of it. Alright. So I'm like Fun facts. Another fun fact. Well, and I just noticed that on my own. That wasn't... Knowledge. I'm like, Sluggo was in this movie? <laughs> really? I'm like, I'm like a spy. Sluggo's doing kickflips at like 52 now. <laughs> Dude's insane. I haven't been able to do them since ever. So things start going afoot. Majors is starting Majors to Majors is taking over. They're Ma- doing random things like drug tests. When they go to take the drug test, it's fucking hilarious. They're all pissing <laughs> yeah, the cup. Whoa, potty, pig pen in the cup. What? All right. I just want to know, what was in that f- Asian guy's piss? Do you see the color of it? It was Gatorade so rough? dark. I right. What was. His shit was <laughs> he dude dark. had some kind of fucking kidney problem. His <laughs> shit was on. way too dark. Wow. Well, yeah. And then pig pen comes up and puts a fucking it's a huge <laughs> log. log of shit inside <laughs> the cup on the table for him. Dude. Dude. In all honesty, you guys ever been on one of those lesbian chat <laughs> chat sites? <laughs> <laughs> no. Have you? No. no. Just asking. This <laughs> character, man, so fucking good. Oh, well, Pigpen goes on the lesbian chat site, and then he finds he's out. He's communicating with that with other the manager, <laughs> and he's just they're like sexting back and forth, and, and Pigpen. all Pigpen keeps awesome. typing is awesome, awesome, <laughs> awesome, awesome. <laughs> And if you want to see Thomas Lennon's ass in this movie, there's yes. pretty much all the nudity you're going to get. Besides uh, besides the pig pen scene where he's dreaming of saving the solid gold dancers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, that's no more the best scenes in the movie. In. Take your tops off. They're like, what? Tie them together. Tie together. Hurry. <laughs> you, come grab me by my waist. Lower. Lower. <laughs> Lower. Jiggle it a little bit. Open pig the door. Wake up. Come on, open. Jiggle it. Well, <laughs> Jiggle it. And then if you watch that scene, you see Rick Rambus reach over and unlatch the door from the inside. Yes. So they were Before just... Before Big Ben gets there to open it. But they're screaming at him because they're locked inside the, the trolley or it's, whatever. It's like those videos where the guys... Where the guys it was a movie. You know, you got to right. make the scene. He's sleeping. He's dreaming. He's, he's humping the fucking bench as they're, they're <laughs> screaming at him. Big Ben! With you a, have a nice nap? He had a nice yeah. frozen line of drool from yes, his face, did, too. Yeah. It was it was really good, but like you said, he doesn't open the door for him, which that's what they needed. The whole so of waking him up. Frenchie's Rick Rambus finds out Frenchie has a fiance. Ooh, dun oh, dun dun! Tables turn. Her name was Anna, by the way. Anna has a fiance. Barry. Barry. 
who Barry. is a doctor and a pilot. Yeah. And Rick makes a comment, hey, I'd have sex with this guy. <laughs> Which furthers my point that if Rick's not banging Blondie, he might have a thing for fucking dudes. He might hook up with that bartender. There you go. Him and Lance might be. Yeah. Lance, body you don't heat, have to do that either. Body heat by Lance. Which, by the way, I just noticed that there's two of the top ten gay names that are in this movie. Or three, actually. What, Barry and Lance? Barry, Lance, and Rick. Rick. Ooh. The Ricker. The Ricker. Ricky. So, so Barry pulls up as Zach Galifianakis and Lance and uh, Rick Rambus are having coffees where Zach Galifianakis says, this is the best vanilla latte I have ever had in my life. You can actually <laughs> taste the, the vanilla. vanilla beans being pressed. And then he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Well, their town is being taken over and they don't yeah. like it. But yeah. so it's the best latte he's ever had. Right. Basically, basically, you got a Starbucks pile of shit. So you're, you're mad and happy at the same time. Right. But they're, as they're moving them out, they're trying to go to their bar and go to the normal you know, liquor hole and they have a nice a good mechanical time. bowl the in there. Liquor hole. Yeah, the normal liquor hole. And uh, <laughs> they go to the El Matador and it's been renamed. The powder room. Powder Which, room. Which, if you're having, if you have a uh, snowboard slash ski community, there's going to be a lot going on in the bathroom. Powder the powder room. room. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's going to be snowing inside and out. Black diamond in the roof. So they get all fucked up and. Well, no, they get kicked out of El Matador slash. Well, well, powder room. Well, You're talking so about the third. Yes, they, the so they, third thing that happens. So he finds out she has the 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 uh, uh, fiance, and he gets all mad, and they go out drinking, and they have to sneak into their own bar because they're not on the list. And well, let's talk about what I think it was still the El Matador, right? Yes, it when was they have the, them. In, yes, and then so they, this is the one of my the funniest scenes, scenes yes. in movie history. He's Zach Galifianakis' is passed out drunk. They're yelling. Again. They're like, fire. They're yelling in his ear. He won't wake up. No. This is, this, this is right after bar. Rick leaves because for Going some reason he walked home. Journey. Yeah, he yes. walked home, left his car there, and uh, Inga just walked out. Yeah. So this is so the aftermath of the he's boozing. He's passed out, and they put him in the driver's seat of the car. Of Rick's car, which is, what is that a thing? Charger. Like, it's like a, a charger. charger. Well, it's like a charger with a plow on the front. It's, yeah, it's yoked up in the back, so it's sitting like a, like a racer, and it's got a huge plow on it. Thing's badass as fuck. I want fuck. that car. Yes. So they start spinning said car clockwise. Well, they yeah, they put him in the no, driver's seat, passed out, and then... Uh, um, Three of the other characters get in the, car, in the car, and then they push it in the middle of the road, and they start spinning it. <laughs> which, so they have a bunch of guys just spinning this car. Which, if you try this, if you no, if you look at it, you can see that it's on a turntable yes. at the end. Well, it has to be. Yeah, you can't just spin a car which, like that. Which is movie funny. magic. Yeah. yeah, movie magic. So they're spinning in the ice. The, and it was definitely edited poorly there. <laughs> Because they just stacked a little snow up, and you can see, like, you can almost see the bottom of the tires, yeah, too. Yeah, they really don't care. So, <laughs> so they start screaming. They count to three, and then they start screaming, Oh, my ah! God! Ah! So he Zach Galifianakis wakes, wakes up, he thinks he's driving. And he's so he just keeps to yelling, I got, I, got I, got I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> oh, dude, that is such a good and It was such a great scene because it's like something you, know, was, you wish you could do. And right. you can see the steering wheel is locked, too, so his hands keep slipping off, and it just keeps going, <laughs> brunk, <laughs> brunk, <laughs> brunk. He's trying so hard. And then they're like, ah, ah. And it's so and then they all start just laughing at him. And fucking, he takes pig pens at it, starts dribbles, bouncing it off. He dribbles pig off pens off, the, right off the steering wheel. wheel. Oh, God, it's so fucking funny. Pig Gr pen, you're on fire. <laughs> Yeah, we'd be great at an oil rig. Yeah. Big pet, you're on fire. So. Guys in oil rigs get pussy a lot, right? Yeah. They're 19 hour shifts and they <laughs> So Lance loses his bar. The boys, besides Rick, all Rick's friends, lose their jobs at the mountain. Which was part of the agreement he went back on because he says he wanted Rick to be the manager and he goes, all my friends get to stay. 100%. That starts and they were, they were still there. They were still employed at that right. point. Right. 
And but right then, after that, they he, they all got shake hand. And they get shake hand. The well, that was day. after they had the huge party at their house, and exactly. they fucked with his Hummer. They, yes. they get fired. No, they get fired before that, don't they? No, after the Hummer. Right. Was it the after? Yeah. So yeah, that's when they go to the El Mac. Oh, that's right. They get kicked out of the, the bar, list. take the blue rope. Right. Yes. They have the huge party at they the have house. Have a huge party at the house, which he announced he's of, the new manager. Yes. Which has some of the funniest scenes in the movie. Yes. And Pigpen instantly walks up. Hey. Man, I'm gonna call in tomorrow. No, hey, you're boss. Not. <laughs> I'm gonna call in to work tomorrow. <laughs> well, actually, that was after, before Rick gets there is when the out of town dude runs inside and chugs the bong water. <laughs> yes. Yeah. First they ask him to go outside too. They're like, "You, you a local? No, nah, man. All right, forty bucks. Everyone else, you're in for free. Locals in for free. Everyone so, else goes in. So. He chugs the bottle in bong water and yells, Me gusta. <laughs> <laughs> Me gusta. Which, if you chug some bong water, you're getting fucked up. But he's like, Whoa. You're on a mission. You're on a mission. Oh, he was on a mission. And if you watch throughout like the scenes, you'll see him popping up every now and then. Yes. Like, when everybody's leaving, he just, like, shoves that one dude right out of the way and kind of just barrels out of the fucking place. Which, they have a party. A rager, that if you night. will. And in the middle of the night, there might have been some shenanigans where they might have right on a guy's Hummer. Just got a... Just got a... <laughs> Hummer. So old John Majors is out and joining us. I'm joining my morning coffee, boys. It smells like money. Goddamn fucking punks. He looks at his Hummer and says, like, just got a Hummer. Just got there. a Hummer. So fucking good. So yeah, they all get fired then that next morning. And he gives Rick a nice gift. And he comes in and he says, hey, welcome to the winning team. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see, see you out there. See you out there. And he opens the card, and it literally it's the says, same exact thing as he the just, said. Said. <laughs> just said. Hey, welcome to the winning <laughs> team. Okay, Good I'll see you out there. there. <laughs> he gets a beautiful hat. cowboy hat. Beautiful hat, just like the major wears. <laughs> major. And he comes out, and he starts looking at his town and what it's become, and nothing seems right. Well, he's looking at no. He's looking at the ski hill, the ski because there's the, the mountain. We're taking away the statue, right? And the statue is Papa where Munts. he. They're pulling Papa Months away. They're you know you see the one fucking instructor grab the little kid and the little side note, blonde head kid from <laughs> the curly headed fuck. The curly headed kid from fucking <laughs> bad Thurman Santa. Merman from Thur- Thurman Merman from Bad Santa. He's in there like four years old. It's <laughs> like his first movie, like before Bad Santa. And that kid at four years old and eight years old, however old he was for Bad Santa, looked exactly same. Like fucking same. It's and then crazy. you see him now as like an adult. Still the same. He looks exact. It's <laughs> scary. That kid, that poor kid, got stuck in a time warp. Not good jeans, man. So just favorite line of the movie. Rick goes up to his owner, the boss. He, there. he doesn't go up to him. He's standing about twenty feet yeah. away like, from hey, him. Hey, majors, He's, I quit. And he throws he the says, hat. Hey, hey, John. <laughs> Then he throws the hat, and then Lee Major says, the line of all lines. That's a $300 hat, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how Lee it's Major's... It's so perfect. How, how Lee, he says it. How he says it, there's like this weird half-second pause between, it's a $300 hat, and then the bitch. bitch. It's, a, it's, it's a, a weird It's a $300 pause. hat. That bitch. actor did... Uh, the guy killed who it. played John Majors in this killed movie it. fucking killed it. Like, just your quintessential... He played a douchebag, a Lee rich Maj- douchebag. Lee so Majors well. in the 70s was on a TV show called The Fall Guy where he played a where he played a uh, stuntman. Like, the guy falls off the horses and gets drugged. Yeah. Hence the reason the, the dragging scene that happens when he gets, you know, the rope gets tied around his foot. Uh, yeah. It was a throwback to the TV show Fall Guy. Here we go. So, after he quits... He goes and catches up with his friends who were on their way with the pilot fiance. All leaving. With Barry, who, which we didn't say, was a cripple from a... Because they were going to kick his ass and take his girl. And then he wheels out of the van. They're like, I'm having second thoughts. I'm beating this guy's ass. He, he <laughs> was the guy that wiped out at X Games into the fence and became blooper paralyzed. Reel. He's the blooper reel guy. He always wanted well, to then uh, Lance, he always wanted too. To Lance, Lance came out to the group. Yes. yes. Like kind of for, he was going to say, he's like, I gotta, I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out. I got something. I got something. Like and Zach Galifianakis' character is like, you're gay? And he's like, what? what? You're, you're gay. gay? No, me? I'm come on. Nice you know it's over? Right? Right? Well, how how yeah. No way. Like, come on. We all know. We're pick, all fine with it. 
Pig pens be like, if you weren't gay, you'd be a really weird dude. <laughs> Which is scary. Really weird. Scary to think. He's like, well, I was going to say I was adopted, <laughs> but since we're on the topic. <laughs> so good. And then they all do their, the fist. And they give him the He fist. puts his up. And, <laughs> and then his drops down. <laughs> Which wouldn't fly in this time. No, no, no. But so they're all going to the next town over in Anchorage as a, as a team. It's and they're they're gonna Barry, the fiance, is going to fly, fly him in his plane. Yeah, which they become like instant best friends with Barry. Yeah, like Barry's the guy. He's cool. Barry's a cool yeah. dude. He gave him those penis pills. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I don't think I think he just gave <laughs> him some brother. some antibiotics. Should we make it bigger? That'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> but no, there's just there, there's. I want to see an unedited version of this movie, an unclipped, oh, God, that'd be... you know, with all the original jokes in it, where they couldn't. You can tell that this it was movie was, over was on, a, so on the verge of being an R-rated movie. Yes. And it would have been so great if it was. Yeah. If there's going to be a remake of a movie, out cold, rated R. Or, or just give me the R-rated... And it isn't really that much of a snowboarding movie, but one of my other favorite movies that has this vibe to it to, for me is Hot Tub Time Machine. A little bit. I mean, it was a... It was a ski trip. Yes, I know, but this I think the younger one's the only the one, one that had a snowboard. Yeah. Right? Yes, because they were all. Older. This movie had more of a grind vibe. Yes, yeah. I could feel that too. This was your typical two thousand grind skateboard movie. Yes, but it was your extreme sport movie with a it was like, message. It was like airborne with, uh, you know, snowboards, snowboards. and drinking. Yeah. Probably one of the greatest. And what was the uh, dirt yeah. bike movie? Dirt bike kid? No, no, no. It, God, what was that? It had a. Homeboy from uh, Shameless in it. I can't think of the name of it now. It's like the same type of movie. Yeah, it's they ride. They're racing dirt bikes. They're two I brothers. Know what like you're talking the, about, and the one guy gets hurt. And his bro, the older brother gets hurt, breaks his leg, and he's on. He's like the second to the guy they're trying to get him to win the championship. I feel like it's like extreme motocross or something weird like that. <laughs> it's, it's it's some basic ass name. Yeah. Well, if it was in the 2000s, it was called Extreme. It's called Supercross. Yeah, it was Supercross. I told you. (laughs) Supercross. So, yeah, it has that vibe to it. And so after he he finds out that they fired his friends and he tells them he quits, he goes and catches up with the hot chick, Jenny, tells them that they're all about to leave. And he goes there and he gives this great speech. goes Goes to the airport where they're loading up the... Loading up the plane. You could come with, with us. Kegs. We just have to leave one of the kegs. And then Zach Galifianakis just shakes it off. <laughs> no, no. I love when he walks into the pole, though. Is he's like, yeah. no, you're not going with us. He walks stupid. into that, the what? wing support yeah. and just gets murked by the wing support. So uh, they're about ready to take their mountain back. And he's got this great speech. How this is our mountain. It's, this is our town. And it's, they do. he gives the Papa Month speech. Yeah. Well, you got a plan? Don't go changing. And this is a mini montage that happens. If them snowboarding down the hill. Mm-hmm. Every to, great movie's got to have a montage. Yeah. Even I love Rocky, had a montage. Rocky had a montage. Rocky had, had a plan, montage and about his other montages. Them. That's yes. how you know a brotherhood of a team right there. He, they said, you got a plan? And he's like, no. All right, I'm with you. Well, it's just because they're stupid, too. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah, they're, play, too. they're playing the idiot role real well in this movie. Like Jeff always said, that movie, um, The Town. Well, he walks up to his uh, brother or buddy, and he's like, uh, we're going to go do some things you can never ask me about. We're going to hurt some people, and we can never talk about it again. Are you in? Whose car are we taking? <laughs> not even hesitation. <laughs> Let's go. Whose car are we taking? Not, not even at where are we going, what we're doing. That was a great line. So they go to the mountain, and they're all on the top. They're all getting ready to pop a month it. Yeah. Yes. Which means bare ass down the hill. Half mass, take your pants down to your knees and ride the mountain. See, but what pissed me off is none of them actually had their bare ass out. No. Mm-hmm. You can't, though. But, you, but, but, and what else he said was, there's kids down there, be safe. So right. maybe, maybe. Maybe. That's why they covered it up. So I mean, they, they even get the, the, the black guy in there, Axel. I don't well, know they count, they're like, ready? And he counts <laughs> them down. One, <laughs> two, Three. That was his name was Anthony. And they right? all Anthony, yes. and they all go. And Anthony's like four, five, <laughs> six. Which it's and then now I'm gonna go back to ski school. 
where the one guy he not, can't snowboard, he can't ski at all, he keeps falling, he's eating, eating yes. shit. It's the same exact thing. He's got That's a sled he's gonna go down on. They're like, not today, man. And they well, they always the do it, right? You know? There's always some guy who's. Sucks not very good, but he becomes yeah. friends with the guy who's really Which, good. In that movie, that dude was like a tremendous dancer. They, they that movie was fucked up, man. Ski school is a rough one to watch. Just a jack of all trades, huh? So they got this no plan to fly down the mountain, and they're all going down. He's still up there counting twenty one, <laughs> twenty two. Here I come. Here I come. So you ready for me? <laughs> so as Rick and Jenny and Luke, and yes. Pigpen, Pigpen is Pen. Pigpen is in a gondola banging Major's <laughs> wife, Steph, no, no, Steph stepdaughter. stepdaughter. He goes Sorry, up and he, he confesses his mm-hmm. love. He's like, "There's something I got to do," and he goes and tells her. And he goes, "I've been in love with you since the, the second moment. I saw you, even though I've never talked to you. <laughs> I love you more than anyone could ever love someone that they've never talked to." <laughs> and he goes, "I, I just want to ask you one time: Will you sleep with me?" <laughs> and yep. she goes. Nothing would piss off me, stepfather, more. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm pretty sure she said my, because you just was kind of me? Spanish. Me, 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 me stepfather. Me stepfather. <laughs> so he ends up banging her in this gondola. That's what they're called. Yes. And um, as they're doing the I... unrevealing of the new gondolas that are being installed for the big Surprise. business show meeting for opening. He's got her splattered against the window. As and, he's, he's, and he's giving it to her something fierce. That's one of the best lines in the movie. Yeah, he was up in her. Loving her strong. Oh, something fierce. <laughs> so he, he, they, they go down the mountain, and she's banging him in the, they're, they're getting him out. It's a big ordeal. Everything's going on. Then the well, plane this is like comes the big event. Through. So right. Lee Majors is bringing in all his investors. investors so he wants guys this, to show his new part. He wants this day to go perfectly. Right. So. Barry flies over in the plane and, real low and scares everyone. And John Major's line is, "What's Captain Cripple doing here?" <laughs> and, uh, and his daughter, his daughter, super is right there. Yeah, and his daughter gets pissed. So she off. goes to leave, and then they lock her in the Hummer, and which is hilarious. And the they, two dudes like, are super excited. Yeah, awesome. we get to do security guard detail or guard duty. Awesome. <laughs> Which it reminded me of like those cheesy villains I have from the eighties movies. Hundred percent. Right. Yeah. So they're flying down the mountain, all this chaos is happening and they start wreaking havoc and they're kicking snow up on people. Uh, Luke jumps off the half pipe, hits the top picnic bench and crashes. <laughs> He's like, What's up everybody? And everyone's like, Yeah. yeah. He goes off the roof. Slides off the roof down oh, yeah. the table where he it, lands on top of one of the he canopies. La- he lands on top of a canopy where Eric, the manager, is standing who always says he wants to put something up Luke's ass. And he's like, that's not even that's not even a threat anymore. It's like you're flirting with me. Technically, that's, that's flirting. flirting. <laughs> so, in a hint of irony, Luke lands boot first in... <laughs> up the, his ass. Up Eric's ass. And he's... Medic! Sort of, he says, oh, that's ironic. <laughs> so then there's more chaos where then the uh, Anthony comes down finally after his long delay. And, and breaks the tap handles yeah, off. Yeah. And shooting beer everywhere. You got Everybody's Jenny with the kids because the hitting bad snowballs, throwing lost. bottles. And it runs them out of town. So they get their mountain back. After he gets... Rambus gets Frenchie out of the car after he... What the fuck did he do? He hit... Well, not, that's where... Uh, Oh, the double pits the chesty yes. move, and he hits yes. him with the snowboard, takes them both out. And he grabs her and gets on a snowmobile. And then rips to the city where he says, You're we always have plane. Pedro or Horny. He's letting her go. You're getting and on that plane. You're getting on that plane with Barry. And you guys are going to go somewhere where your father can't find you. Mm. Fly, fly. Because this is the right thing to do. It is. And he finally realized that... He had to let her go. Because the love of his if life you love something, you got to let it go. Right, guys? He's, let it go. Let it go. So, <laughs> goes back. Sorry. Beautiful. Goes back to the, the mountain. Songbird of our generation. As David Keckner is driving up the hill with Papa Muntz to put him back in his rightful place, the cable snaps. And Papa months ago skiing bare ass back one last down, time down, down the that mountain and smashes into the gondola where gondola 
where Numb Nuts uh, John Majors is standing, uh, getting into a fight with Papa Pop Bunch's Bunch's son, Herbert. No, that was that was the uh, who's uh, Months? Where is that guy at? Uh, he played that role pretty good. His yes. name was Ted. Everyone, I, I, the casting in this movie was, was phenomenal. It was probably the best thing yes. of this movie. It was yes. the casting. Every character was it. perfect. To the main team. character. And he had enough with Majors calling him numb nuts and retard, retard all yeah. the time. He says, Which, the way that he dude has never gotten to a fight before. He punches him in the ear <laughs> with the first one. It's like Fight Club. Right. <laughs> in the ear. In the ear. <laughs> you, fight, you fight like a retard. <laughs> That's it. Do it again. <laughs> Call me retard one more time. And he starts whooping Major's ass. Once again, this is in the movie. It's not us saying retard right. in a we're derogatory re- way. Yeah, we're repeating. Reiterating. Seeing, yes. And here comes Papa Munz, breaks through the wall, right through the gondola, and knocks Majors flying forward for his son with the knockout punch. Ooh, and then he's, and then he slide into the yes <laughs> as a snowmobile. Yeah, flies by, catches his foot, and drags him away. Was it uh, Lance driving the snowmobile, or was it Jenny? Yeah, it was Lance. Lance. I think it was Lance. And then flings him into a porter potty where a where a waiter comes walking around. And that dude is in a lot of movies where As he a waiter. is the talking black guy, even in like scary movie. I'm pretty sure that guy is in more. What was that movie? Cameos like not another team movie. Yes, he played token, the token, token black. That's guy. what I just said. <laughs> yes. Hey, hey man. I'm the token black guy here. Oh, that man. That shit's that whack. Oh, sh- I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, that's whack. Oh, My that's bad. Whack. My bad. <laughs> so they, they they get the mountain back. Papa Munz comes and saves the day. They get the mountain. He lets his girl go. And he comes back to Jenny. Where he is, once again, king of the mountain. 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 Mountain. I want to play king of the mountain. And it sounds he, fun. And a, a simmering side note in the movie, he was trying to get an, a lift up to a triple black diamond. Yes, that he wanted to call. I forgot the name of it. Me too. He, he, he devil's something. Devil's peak. Yeah, that's oh, what it know. was. Devil's so he makes his own peak. his own trail. He said, "Oh, well, we can get if we could get a lift to that, it'd be the most popular Probably snowboarding yes, spot ever. ever." And it was a triple black diamond. Triple and black diamond. They made diamond this. in the rough. So he got his dream. black diamond in the rough. <laughs> it's, a, it's a ski term. <laughs> And him and Jenny are at the top of the triple diamond. Talking about that date. Diamond. And he's finally he's like, do you miss her? She goes, do you miss her? And he says, who? Miss who? It's Good the right answer. answer. It's the Good right answer. answer. Good answer. Good answer. How you guys expecting to beat me? <laughs> <laughs> Movie reference, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Always <clears throat> goes back to Turtles. So, it shows them going down the mountain. They're in love. And then Um, some, as they narrate. And the 2000s movie kicks in. And starts rolling credits. (laughs) And then it has... It's David David Koechner just going off about nothing. Random shit as he's sitting in the bar. What's funny is you can tell that it's spliced together. So they just probably told him to go. Yeah. And they just like took his best shit. He's like, I'll tell you what. They might have just taken the shit they could I was in Reno one time. Right. And I had... I flashed this handful of doms and I went up with this girl to her hotel room. <laughs> oh, it was her car. It was the back of her car. <laughs> and they're just letting them go and they're showing the bloopers of all the wipeouts. And, yeah, I oh, wish God. I wish it was had a different rating because it would have been even better. It, I really wish. Yes. Because when they were showing the bloopers when Zach Galifianakis and was, he swearing, was swearing, they and, were bleeping it out. Yeah. Right. It was weird. Yeah. If This, is, this is the things, one right? thing oh, I have great. to take away from the movie. The negative was how it was cut. Yeah, like there was so much more that movie could have been if they would just went for the R rating instead of the PG thirteen. Right? Yeah, I bet it was so hard though back then to get like that with like smoking weed and drinking and partying and swearing. Days of Confused came out at the same time. Yeah, but that really wasn't that. They should have just went for it. Yeah, I think. yeah. Just I feel it. like they we're went going like rated R ninety five in, and they were like. Just they didn't go that extra five. Oh, who knows? If There's that so many politics been, in it. If, yeah. if that movie had been rated R, just like you know the scene at the end where Lance is like, who hot sluts with tits. He's like, you know, you don't Lance have to do that anymore. anymore. Yeah. I love dudes. That's yeah. totally not you what don't he have said. To do that. But you don't have to do that either. Yeah. <laughs> if you, he's, his lips 
say it, something it's, else. It definitely says something about dick. Yeah, like I love dick. I love dick. Yeah, it's, which yeah, it's just that would have been hilarious. So they, they they did change some things, but um, you heard it here that Sean's gonna go and learn how to snowboard with us, so he could have these adventures up north. And you can live this movie, Sean. Yes. you can be our Zach Galifianakis. Yes, <laughs> or Anthony. You could be our Anthony. Yeah. No, I feel like I'm goddamn months. <laughs> you can go bare ass yeah. if you want. Do whatever you want. It's gonna it's gonna yeah. be a fun Dead time. Is what I meant. No. We will get footage of All him right. on the mountain. All right, shut up. We're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna rate it. <laughs> he doesn't want to commit to it. <laughs> we're gonna Just rate commit it right now. Before yeah. we rate. Uh, I'll commit because I know we're, we're not here. Fucking he, right. he said it on here. That means he has to do it. And we'll, we'll put it on the YouTube. He will follow through because he said it on here. So. I always follow through. I'm That's like, what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like some people. You guys heard it. What if I not follow through? With? Oh, burn. Oh. <laughs> I can't follow through on finishing a beer. Got <laughs> him. Not even drinking. Just commit, you know, commit to one thing. Commit to that one beer. Just finish it. See it through. I finished a beer before. Fuck off, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I so one. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll do. always be the Debbie Downer because I'm, pretty stiff on my rankings now Let's see how stiff you are you said stiff right like i said this movie could have been so much more if they would have just went for the r rating yes. instead of trying to play it safe because as, as it only made 14 it was 24 million to make and it made 14 million in the box office if that was rated r then we would have made that money back oh yeah yeah because well, look how good like the uh like scary movies did yeah right. you know That's well i mean like greatest, but what, yeah, no, they did the scary movie. The first, the first scary movie did bank, and it was Hell yeah. Crazy. The first two, I think, were they dragged it out for like nine years. Well, yeah, well, well yeah, but then a- after, after the first two, they after had the Wayans brothers, 13. after the Wayans brothers were out, I, yeah, that's yeah. when it went. When it was just Anna Ferris, yeah, Anna For Ferris led Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, it was way too many shitty Charlie Sheen. Well, then that, that it opened the way for all those dumb. Uh, not another teen movie and all that right like yeah. stuff like that epic movie epic movie oh that, yes. that movie was bad not another so teen bad. movie hilarious that hilarious that's a great it's got what's his name in it it's got, uh, that, it's got America's ass in it Chris Evans Chris Evans yeah Chris Evans before he got yoked but who's who's the, the um Stubby uh, scr- uh, his, he's in it David Koechner yeah. is in it yes okay. yes that's why it Jamie uh, Presley is that her name? Yeah, Jamie Presley plays the uh, cheerleader. And then Chris Evans. Is he the... Chris like, Evans is the love interest. Is he the one that, like... You think about, like, those movies, it's always, like, actors, and then you never see him again. Is he done, like, the best, obviously? Yeah. From coming from not another team movies to being... Besides Flash him, and Captain America. Him in Oh, well, is that the guy? Okay. Yeah. The main guy from Not Another Team movie, that's him. Captain America. Yeah, he was also <laughs> the skateboard guy in... Uh, uh, Scott, Pilgrim Scott Pilgrim saves the world. His yeah. boyfriend five versus the world. Yeah. yeah. No All right. Knowledge. Number no knowledge. All right. So we'll get back to your rating. So my rating. I, I'm gonna. Give How are we gonna one. do this rating? Because yeah, the mo- <laughs> I, I say this every time. Like if if I had to give a rating for casting, ten. it's a ten. Yeah. Yes. Acting. Hmm. It's it's a seven. I would say like an eight because I think it's still nah, a- Lance. Lance is a little rough. I still think yeah, it but was I think I think that that was fuck. like rough on purpose because he was like uncomfortable. Right, he's the talking whole time. about yeah, I mean, banging chicks and he's uncomfortable about right. it because he's really gay. It's it's so it looks so I- improvised. It's so it's so maybe good. it was and right. like I you said, they had shitty I think editing. They, I think they just might have gave them bullet points and let them roll. I think so. That Great whole movie, movie. Then I mean, how many times do they have where uh, Zach Galifianakis or whatever is coming into the bar and he's like wearing that leotard? He's like. Well, that's what I'd give it. The the acting it's a nine. It's better than Fast and yeah, Furious. Nine. Yeah. I would say eight or nine for acting. I'd say in, overall, I'd say it's an eight. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. For a fun, yeah. There's it's it's good. They, it's for a fun, really movie. good. Comedy. For what it is, I'd give it. I mean, if we're like putting it up against Citizen Kane and yeah, no. If you're putting it up against the best movies, it's, it's yeah, like no, seven. Not, yeah, yeah, like but a stoner, but just funny my drinking movie. Just my general. It, it's an eight. Yeah. perspective I'd give it an 8 yeah I agree with that 200% the editing is a the C editing and the comedy the, the comedy and the casting is great gold yeah. it's pure gold I mean it the really story it's, and it's the whatever it's, yeah, it's, yeah it's fucking it's, it's Jane, Sound, Bob and Snow yeah basically you know what I mean eight. it's great Mallrats and Snow 
Hey, it, bro. And like I said, the editing is like, oh, dude, that's like a five. Yeah, it's chopped together. It, yeah, I mean, there was one scene where it just like faded to black super slow, and, and then it like right stayed out. black for a minute, and then it like switched. Like, when they were uh, going to do the King of the Mountain. And yeah, I was like... It was like a, it was a weird It was choice. like a commercial was, pause. Yeah, it was real weird It was like choice. a spot where like, they did t- made-for-TV movies and did right, the commercial right. pauses. That's what that felt like. That's what I mean. It was like someone who... It was his first movie. Yeah. And they're like, what do we do from scene well, to scene? I don't know. It was a great fade to black. movie, but... Oh, uh, yes. Well, I think what I read here was... It was like a uh, movie direct Or uh, music video directors that fucking... Directed it. It's probably like snowboarding. Yeah, the Malloy director. It was a fun movie. Great movie. I definitely. If you haven't seen it, it's definitely worth a watch if you're into old school at all. So comedy, for stoner comedy, it is. uh, It is definitely an eight. I'm surprised that a lot of people haven't heard about this movie. Like, right. I'm like, you ever seen How Cold? Like, How Cold? I'm like, oh, you have to watch it. Such a great movie. It's it's one of those movies. It's it's like, I, I mean, we've watched The Room all the fucking time. It feels like it's, I'm out. Seen it once. It's it's one of those movies where if you so no, you have to tearing me it, apart, Frankie. <laughs> we we will definitely do a. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do it in uh, again? tuxedos, and we're gonna throw a football around. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta get Texas for that podcast. Yeah, we are gonna do a review on the oh, room because yeah. it's one of the worst movies of all time. All right, all right. All right. So for Jeff, for Frankie, eight, eight. I am Sean. We rated an eight. This has been TGD Spoils. Once again, brought to you by shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den where you can get all your gentleman's den merch Woo. t-shirts hats beanies sweatshirts bags fanny packs fanny packs fanny fucking packs i know it's all like that them. shit once again that is spread shirt dot com backs it's shop dash shop dot spread shirt dot com backslash the Gentlemen's then hyphens in between the gentlemen's and then. All right, we'll talk to you guys next week. <gasps> Bye. Later. Love you.